divided into 12 districts, ruled from the capital. As punishment for a failed revolt many years before, each district is forced to select two tributes, one boy and one girl between the ages of 12 and 18, to fight to the death in the annual Hunger Games until there is only one survivor. The entire event is televised. 16-year-old Katniss Everdeen of District 12 volunteers to take her younger sister Primrose's place in the 74th Hunger Games. She and fellow tribute Peter Mellark are escorted to the capital by their chaperone Effie Trinket and mentor Hamish Abernathy, the game's only living winner from District 12. Hamish stresses the importance of gaining sponsors, as they can provide potentially life-saving gifts during the games. While training, Katniss observes that careers, Marvel, Glimmer, Kato, and Clove, volunteers from the wealthy districts 1 and 2 who have trained for the games from an early age. During a televised interview with Caesar Flickerman, Peta expresses his love for Katniss, which she initially sees as an attempt to attract sponsors, she later learns his admission is genuine. At the start of the games, Katniss grabs some of the supplies placed around the cornucopia, a structure at the starting point, and narrowly escapes death. Half of the 24 tributes die in the initial melee, and only 11, including all four careers, survive the first day. Katniss tries to stay away from the others, but Seneca Crane, the head game maker, triggers a forest fire to drive her towards them. She runs into the careers, with whom Peta has seemingly allied, and flees up a tree. Peta advises the careers to wait her out. The next morning, Katniss notices Rue, District 11's young female tribute, hiding in an adjacent tree. Rue draws her attention to a nest of genetically modified venomous wasps. Using a knife, Katniss causes the nest to fall on the careers sleeping below, Glimmer dies, but the others escape. Katniss becomes disoriented from being stung a few times. Peter returns and tells her to flee. Rue helps Katniss recover, and they become friends and allies. Katniss destroys the supplies the career stockpiled by detonating mines guarding them, while Rue provides a distraction. Katniss later finds and frees Rue from a trap, but Marvel throws a spear which impales Rue. Katniss kills him with an arrow. She comforts Rue by singing to her and, after she dies, adorns her body with flowers, triggering a riot in District 11. Paynham President Coriolanus Snow warns Crane he is displeased about the unrest. Haymitch persuades Crane to change the rules to allow two winners provided they are from the same district, suggesting that this will pacify the public. After the announcement, Katniss finds a gravely wounded Peta. Another announcement promises that what each survivor needs the most will be provided at the cornucopia the next morning. Despite Peta's vehement opposition, Katniss leaves to get medicine for him, but she is ambushed and overpowered by Clove, who gloats about Rue's death and prepares to dispatch her. Thresh, District 11's male tribute, overhears and kills Clove. He spares Katniss once, for Rue's sake. The medicine heals Peta overnight. While hunting for food, Katniss hears a cannon go off, signaling a death. She races to Peta, who has unwittingly collected deadly nightlock berries. They discover Fox Face, District 5's female tribute, poisoned by the nightlock she collected after watching Peta. Crane then unleashes genetically modified beasts that kill Thresh and force Katniss, Peta, and Kato, the last survivors, to climb onto the cornucopia's roof. Kato gets Peta in a headlock and uses him as a human shield against Katniss's bow. Peta directs Katniss to shoot Kato's hand, enabling Peta to throw him to the beasts below. Katniss kills him with an arrow to end his suffering. Crane then revokes the rule change allowing two victors to win. Peta urges Katniss to shoot him, but she convinces him to eat nightlock berries together. Just before they do, Crane hastily declares them co-victors. Afterward, Hamish warns Katniss that she has made enemies through her acts of defiance. Snow has Crane locked in a room with nightlock berries.